Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Zeke here again today to bring you another episode of Let's Play uh, Banished. I completely forgot what the game was called for a bit. Now, first things first, I'm actually going to increase the amount of firewood I'm going to be keeping in here into to 725, just in case I have live stop to live stop livestock to buy later on. So that is my first order of business, and then the woodcutter should be able to catch up to that fairly easily over time. Although there is going to be a bit of a longer walk path because I have my forester way the hell down here. Actually, down here might be a good place for a hunter's cabin as well. <clears throat> Maybe I should put down one more of those so I can get some more leathers, some more pleathers. And as I said last episode, I'm actually going to experiment with when to harvest these orchards this year. So lots of cool and interesting stuff going on. I have three laborers. I probably don't need three. I could use another um, tailor instead. And my blacksmith, is he currently working? No, he's not. So let's assign one to each and just have one laborer going on. I also have two builders that I don't need, and lots of excess population, <coughs> and somebody here for trading. Let's see what they've got. They've got squash and corn. To be honest, I am not interested in either at all, even though it's all fairly cheap. Um, <coughs> they don't really have anything that I want to order either. I'm just interested in trading with the people who have seeds. I don't really need extra food. I could use extra stone and iron and raw supplies, but... They don't seem to have those for me, so I'm just going to dismiss the hell out of this boat. This is right in the trade menu, and it can go away. It can go away rather quickly, too. Anyways, decent amount of laborers now. Since I have three laborers, I might as well actually get them to go and gather this excess rock over here. And possibly also these excess trees. What is this, Canada? I got, like, rocks and trees and trees and rocks and rocks and trees and trees and rocks and water. There we go. Excess trees. To be honest, there's still a lot of resources for me to gather nearby, and I'm doing pretty well at maintaining a fairly high level of resources resources total. Um, logs are doing decently. Firewood is definitely on the rise. Evil is on the rise. Late summer. Um, so they are actually harvesting this as they go. I did see that big drop there. Apparently they harvested some peaches. But I'm going to click on the harvest button because there's always such a huge waste at the end of the year. And look at that huge jump up and down. I don't know what's going on there. Either way, they are harvesting. I should get a lot of pears this year. These two crop fields are almost done. Um, I'm not sure if I've had a blight yet in this game, but I had a blight in another game, and it was not as hard to deal with as some people had brought it off to be. All you need to do is harvest the field right away and then just kind of plant something else there. Or if you're really paranoid, destroy the field and replant it. Um, don't have any builders. I do have a lot of laborers. People are growing up like gangbusters. I'm not actually sure whether or not gangbusters were very well known for growing up. Either way, I think it is time for me to build this house. Always good to have extra population, have lots of students, have a teacher. Always good to make use of the teacher you have instead of the teacher you don't have, if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean, again, post it in the comments, because I don't. I'm going to go ahead and gather some of these trees, too, and some of these trees. And there's also a bunch of iron here, but I don't currently need iron. I need stone. So let's try to get a bit more stone down here. Heard that Temple Pilots actually has some pretty good stone. And that should take me a long time, maybe all winter, actually. Um, but first things first, I'm going to unassign all my farmers. Set them to zero. And then I'm going to set the... Well, I'm going to actually reset one farmer here and then close this and set the priority to those baskets. Because those baskets need to be gathered. So let's... um. I just want to keep pumping this up until I have one. There we go. Set priority right here. All th I said set priority, you goddamn asshole. To all of this right here. Because those need to be stored right away or else I will not be able to use these crop fields next year. Come on, guys. I know you can do it. Do it. Do it. Get those goddamn baskets. Just keep increasing priority. It's the best I can do, really. Okay, finally a couple of them are being delivered. There we go. Sometimes it takes them a while to get it. That does mean I can unassign all of these crops. And now I have 19 laborers. I could get two of them to work as builders, which makes a lot of sense. One of them to work as a gatherer. I can get all my huntsmen working again. Um, second herbalist is always worthwhile. I still have my blacksmith and tailor going. 
and I can unassign the trader. So now I have tons of people gathering all these resources, and, well, I kind of desperately need them, so I'm pretty damn happy about that. Have the lumberers working on my stock of wood is almost back up to its maximum. This person is cold, but I'm assuming that is because they are old and not because they have too little firewood or anything else here. That is always a possibility. When this builds, I actually want to make sure that I start on another one because I want my population to be as big as possible by year 20 when the contest ends. For those of you who don't know or who missed the video, there's a, a play-along contest going on right now. Just check it out on my channel. It's a couple videos earlier. And right now, I only have two entries. So there's three prizes, and all the prizes are like multiple games and kind of badass games too. So if you want a chance at winning some of those prizes, it, it's about time. It's, it's time to da -da 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 win some fucking prizes, as I like to say. So anyways, you, you guys should go check that out, if at all possible. I should also clear out all these trees in this area. I don't like them. I don't appreciate them much. What's... Reserve of stone is low. I am quite aware of that. I am gathering as much stone as I can as quickly as possible. Do I have all my stone delivered here? No, I still need ten. Hmm. I am gathering a lot of stone from over in this location. Um, and I do have a fair amount of time in order to do that, but not much time. So, as you can tell, I am running out of stone. It is late winter. I'm at 23, and... When spring hits, pause. Lovely. So, now I'm going to do my usual and cancel all of this resource gathering all along this area. Can't have my guys being distracted by anything else during the summer. Because often I find that random farmers get assigned to it too. So, let's assign 11 workers, I think is what I currently have. 4, 4, yep, and 3. Lovely. And again, I should really keep my job tab open at all times. And I still have five laborers, so I need to actually create more jobs for them to work. Which is a good situation to be in. Like, I would rather need to have more jobs than need to not need to have more jobs. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to assign... Oh, I need more stone. I'm going to unassign... No, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to gather some stone. Gathering stone is what I'm going to do. So let's go here. Um, after this, I'm probably going to actually build the stone quarry. Because things are pretty dire, actually. I, I need a lot more stone than I have nearby. And the stone quarry, don't get me wrong, is incredibly slow. But it's the best I have at the moment. And let's watch all these trees blossom. As they are wont to do. Come on. Do it. Do it now succumb to the dark side. I don't know what I'm talking about. That house is done being built. I can unassign these two workers and have them work as laborers. I'm just making sure everything else is maxed out. Really do want all my gatherers to be in peak form. I don't need a trader actually working there. I just need a trader in general. And you have reached your maximum cloth limits, right? That is really cool. Um, clothes are also a good trade item, so if you can, it is always a good idea to have quite a few extras because if you want some more livestock, clothes are one of the best things to trade. So are iron and steel tools, but often I find that I am a bit low on both iron and steel tools. Especially steel tools, since I don't even have a mine yet, and I absolutely need that mine in order to get steel tools. Another thing I'm going to want to do soon, or probably even by the end of summer, is actually build this quarry. I do have a lot of laborers, but they are currently delivering stone. Once I get to 100 stone, I think I'm going to actually start work on this quarry instead. Let's go ahead and just wait for that to tick up by one. You don't need any stone in order to make a quarry, which is definitely a good thing. Um, but you do need 80 logs. That's a lot of logs. But there's a lot of logs in that area, too. So let's um, go ahead and set priority for that. Just like right here. Lovely. And then while I'm at it, I might as well actually tell them to um, cut a lot of the trees up in this corner. Didn't I say cut a lot of the trees up in this corner? Yeah. There we go. All these trees here. All these trees are belong to me's. There's actually a lot of stone in this little area already, so Cory is already paying off. 28 logs are going to be removing all the trees, and that will add to my total log stockpile. 
Um, I have a metric fuck ton of food, so my population could use growing even more without being in any real risky situation, which is good. Um, so far, zero deaths since I built that graveyard anyways, which is a bit surprising to me. The fields will definitely work in time. I know I probably should be working them with five people, but I can actually currently afford to do that, so let's go ahead and do that. Five and five. That brings it up to 13. I just didn't have enough people for quite a long time to actually work these fields at maximum efficiency. You have reached your limit. Um, I'm actually going to set that for 150. 150 tools to see to be a tool master. Tool master. That's kind of stupid. It's, apparently it's my destiny though, so... Can't argue with destiny. I heard they have a child or something. I was kind of confused me really. Only need 40 iron for that, and they are already starting to build. So during the winter, I can just assign everybody to that rock quarry. Um, and the rock quarries are actually kind of dangerous. You don't want to be wasting population there if you do not have a high population. But you kind of need them for extra rock. For extra rock lobsters. Now another field can probably fit in here. So I don't actually want to put anything there. But I think I do actually want a town hall along the coast right here and I'm getting some other traders which is real nice so that will be built next um, I think I have enough builders for that after but first wheat seeds yes I'm definitely taking wheat I can make some real beer out of that eventually get a brewer going on not that my happiness is suffering at all but it's always good to diversify your stocks and that is it for exactly 625 firewood as you can see, I don't even have enough firewood to completely restock after this, but I do have two woodcutters working and nobody working here. So, should be fine. Trade. They won't go and gather it as long as there's no one working there. And now I can create a whole new field. Don't you dare close your eyes. A new fantastic type of crop. Something about dreaming, I guess. Yep, and I can indeed throw one more crop field over here. And this can indeed have wheat now, which I will instantly work with four people. Oops. One, two, th well, no, I, I don't want to work it this year, actually. So let's um, stop work there. Yeah. These places are still maxed. I can actually stop work there as well. And I can unassign five of these total workers. And then I'm, well, they're already harvesting that, so that's fine. Apparently they managed to finish it on time even though they usually don't, and unpause time. Got a bit distracted by the trader and the construction. Um, apparently this build is going real goddamn slow though, I wonder why. Do I not have enough build do I not have any builders? I think I have no builders. One second. I have no builders, but I do have 11 laborers at the moment. So I can indeed throw 7 builders down. With some lion throws, I think my... I think I'm still gathering from down here. The easiest way to check is to try to cancel gathering. Yes, I am indeed. And I want them to keep gathering rocks, so I'm not going to stop them at this moment. This Satchmo. So this can stop work. Unassign three more workers. Lovely. And I don't have any baskets of useless produce still remaining, and I have plenty of food in the bank. Now, the, you might be wondering, why am I not just like using food in order to trade for these things? Why am I using other things? And that's actually because, um, food, I want pumpkins, actually. Let's see. Food does not actually trade to the people who are trading seeds and livestock. I'm not sure why, they just don't, don't accept it, they don't want it. Maybe they have plenty of food and what they're missing is anything else. Either way, though, sign up for the goddamn contest and play along with me. I need some participants for this motherfucker. Stop work here as well can unassign five workers. Apparently, if they don't have anything to do, they'll just work as laborers anyways, but the idea of that makes me a bit nervous, a bit noivous. Noivous noivel, as I, as, as I was called in college. Um, and I'm actually going to pick up some iron, too, because I'm getting a bit lower on iron than I would normally like. And I might as well also harvest some trees. Lovely. My two forester lodges are still being worked to the maximum, I'm pretty sure. Indeed, I am correct, so that will keep these guys working, these two woodcutters. Sometimes they have a ball. Again, jokes I make every episode. I think I need a drink of my big-ass chai tea. 
I actually have a special mug that has a large ass. I'm not I'm not exaggerating there or anything. My it's my special big ass mug. I kind of wish I had a big ass mug. So this is almost done, 97%. This is starting, but I should actually assign it priority just to make sure it gets done sooner than later. I should also probably assign some priority to these trees here. Just make sure that that gets done. Cory, I will definitely need for later in the game. This is now being constructed at a breakneck pace. And the town hall is, well, good, but not really entirely necessary, I should say. Oh man, look at that. This is a perfect road. Um, as, as far as I can tell, it's just used to accept immigrants later. Why are there, like, baskets of food just... Why are there baskets of food just sitting outside? Can I gather those somehow? Gather those baskets? Both my food huts are almost full. I might almost want less food in the future. Or possibly to build these two houses and get more population. And maybe even build, like, extend this whole neighborhood a bit further out now. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is actually get some roads going on. And these are going to go... 16 down, maybe even 17 down, so that's 15, 16, 17, 18, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 down, yes, apparently I made that road out of stone, that's alright I guess, um, then I'm going to start building stone houses again, because you know people in stone houses couldn't, shouldn't throw dynamite, I think that's how the expression goes. And then I need a single path between here. And I did indeed do that perfectly. Did I do that perfectly? Yes, I did. Then three houses that way. Three houses pointing up. And then rinse and repeat up here. And then same down here. I'll eventually use this area for livestock, but that's going to be a bit later. I really can't wait for mod support to be out on this thing. And you know what? Uh, I was considering making stone roads, but it's just such a waste of stone at this point in the game. Let's um, erase this road, make it dirt. Oh, can't do that. That's alright, though. Just make this nice big round thing and a road in between the two neighborhoods. And then start off, start pausing. Big Mouse starts pausing, proud Mary something causing, I don't know. Just need the bigger population. I have too much food. The problem is I'm creating more food than I need because I'm so focused on food. I'm a food fanatic. I'm a muscle fan. In just seven days, bow down, 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 I can make you a man. Sorry. Sometimes you just got a Rocky Horror Picture Show it up. To be honest, I, I like Rocky Horror Picture Show, but not as much as some people seem to. The the obsession seems a bit ridiculous to me. I've got to start working all these fields, including our brand new wheat field, which I'm very excited about. I'm actually going to increase the workers to five workers on that. Um, these are being built. I've got to set them as priority because I definitely want them built. And then I actually need to set up my farmers. I need 18 farmers now. Jesus. Okay. I can get up to 14. Then I can actually... Uh, I know I just said increase priority, but I now want this built first. Ooh, this is rough. I'm probably going to have to unassign some hunters. Like I said, I already have too much... Too much um, everything, really. I can probably unassign some gatherers. And then I'll have one laborer and eight builders, which is all I need. Lovely. These farms should be all nice and planted and should have nice, huge-ass yields. Um, I might actually need a brand new storage place. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually build a market back here. If you guys are wondering why I've built in this order, it's so I can have like market and livestock. Or maybe livestock out of town in this direction and market over here. Because you want the market to be in range of as many houses as possible. 
that, that's the main point of the market anyways. This is almost done, then I will be able to unassign four workers and maybe get them started on a marketplace. I do have lots of supplies right now. Maybe not quite enough for everything. Yeah, I have enough for everything I want. And actually, let's get started on that marketplace right away. I could also increase my, um... Best to have that, like, up here. Oh, what? Why is there one... Oh, there's like a little hill there. Well, that's too bad. Maybe right here instead? Yes. That encircles the entire town and still leaves room for like a field and another small neighborhood in there. Or maybe just a few more houses. So what I'll do is I'll actually get a road built, and I'll get a road built just like over to the market. And I think you can actually build a road straight through the market in some situations. But I don't know how that works, so I need another road here, and then another road, another road bats the dust, and another one's gone, another one's gone, another one bats the dust, yeah, hey, it's gonna get you too, another road bats the dust. And all around here. Just making sure this is all nice and symmetrical and has lots of paths from everywhere in town. Apparently I can't actually build it. There's too much... Too much bad ground. Too much bad feeling going around. Now, maybe I can use my stockpile trick for that. Again, they possibly have just fixed the stockpile thing. Um, and apparently, no, they have not. Well, that kind of sucks, but it's also all right, because I can put some buildings in here. I can maybe put another stockpile in here, just for the hell of having a stockpile hanging around. So you can see that actually did flatten the ground behind there. It just doesn't work everywhere, apparently. It's too small. Maybe if I destroyed that road, I could get this whole thing flat. Ah, it doesn't matter. Let's unpause, get get the work started. I'm coming up, so I'm going to get my work started. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. This should be completed rather soon, and then everybody can work on the market. And kids are be kids are growing up at a goddamn breakneck pace. I'm glad I have so much food now. I really need that market done before the crop finishes, though, because there's just not enough room in these two storage barns for, the, for everything. Um, you can actually become a laborer. You're, you've reached 200 clothes. That's a ridiculous amount of clothes. Um, you guys need definitely need to keep stocking up on wood because eventually I'm going to need 600 or 725, 625 more of it. You're just not working fast enough. I only have one working. No, I have two working. Okay. For a second, I, I was a bit worried there. I'll actually max out my builders so I can actually get this shit done. Again, I'm going to use the tool in order to set priority here. Make sure my laborers are actually going for this and removing the items they need to instead of gathering random resources that I've told them to gather. I guess it's not random if I told them to gather it, but that's alright too. Actually, you know, I should probably assign you, because even if you're at your limit, apparently you're working as a laborer. Now I only need six builders. So, interesting thing. This fucking town hall... It gives you, like, all your stats. You can um, look at graphs for how you've been doing, like, population within the last five years. It's been on a steady rise. Population within the last ten years. Also been on a pretty damn steady rise. That's a good thing all around. Um, inventory, it tells you exactly what you have everywhere. Trade items. So, acquired seeds and livestock. And just plenty of other things that are useful to know and see how clothed you are, how educated you are. I'm surprised I'm only 87% since I seem I educate everybody I can. You can go to certain jobs. Um, you can check your production. Display one year worth of production. Yeah, how much you've used, how much you've made. As you can see, food I'm a bit high on right now. And I keep having too much stored. So that's why I'm trying to get extra houses, especially now that I have an extra crop field as well. If I get chickens next, I'm just going to put it in here. Usually you want a bigger livestock field than, like, you want a max size livestock field. But for chickens, I prefer to have less of them. I don't know why. Just my personal preference. Poisonal poifence. can also start storing some clothes. And actually, let's go ahead and um, go to my trade depot here and 
Where are my hide coats? There they are. 100 hide coats. They actually trade for quite a bit. So that will give um, my tailor something to do for quite a while. And I will actually assign one employee. I have five adults. Five more adults. Where are all these adults coming from? My god. You are too fast at growing up, guys. I am really enjoying how this game is going. I pretty much have the perfect population in order to work everything that I want to work. I guess I don't have enough hunters right now is the main thing. I also lessened my gatherers, but psh, nobody cares about gatherers anyways. This is f almost fully constructed, and then I can unassign all my workers and actually get them gathering shit. Because that sounds like cool to me. That sounds like cool to me. That's not even a sentence, really. Instead of assigning somebody to work, I accidentally did not. Let's actually unassign two workers right now and assign one to here, and I will keep one as a laborer. Eventually, I won't need any of these builders. 81% should be done by the winter. I'm hoping anyways, because I need shit stored there real quick. All these baskets of food are still just hanging out. It's kind of unfortunate. These are filling up rather quickly. I just want the market to be somewhere... I just want the market here so I can have a third large storage area. You need to keep people working it, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem with my current population. Slash population growth. Because once this completes, I can unassign two workers. Two builders, I should say. And then assign them to build this instead. Just want to keep expanding the population as quickly as possible. And maybe even make a brewery soon. Hmm. That's an idea. I'm not sure if it's a good idea, but it's definitely an idea. Let's go for road construction here. Um... Could have probably done this whole section a bit more efficiently, but you know, no one, no one's here to blame me. There, you're here in the comments to blame me, but that is in the future, and I don't even have to worry about that. So maybe what I should do is actually get a brewery going on. Stacy's brewery has got it going on. It will increase the happiness, but all my population is already pretty happy. I don't really need a brewery. I guess I could trade beer of sorts. It's a very small building. I don't know. Seems seems like it might just be a waste. Uh, for now, I'm not going to do it. For now, I'm just going to keep my laborers a laboring. Oh, the laborers, they are a laboring. And I'm going to see, are they actually gathering things right now? I'd assume they would be. Yeah, they're gathering all that iron and um, probably quite a few of these trees. What they really need to do is start gathering all the rocks in this area. So let's um, stone stone and it's still faster to get this stone than to try than to use the quarry believe me the quarry is ridiculously slow late autumn and my harvest is not actually going all that well i can actually stop work here and stop work here reassign to the gathering group unassign those guys and forester and hunter is already maxed out lovely as you can see, the crops are actually dying. The wheat actually seems pretty hardy in comparison to the other crops. Although a lot of it did die. Then I can stop work here and stop work here. Assign this to zero. And now I have lots and lots of laborers. 21 total. And two builders going on. So they should be gathering resources as quickly as they are able. As they are cane and able. Unfortunately, I only have the workers delivering the supplies to this area. So that's a tiny bit slower than I might normally like. What? Oh yeah, they're delivering from over here because I told them to. That's kind of nice, actually. Right near the actual woodcutters, which I need. I need woodcutters. You made me like this. Um, actually, I could probably use another woodcutter. I, I'm getting wood at a fair clip, but I'm actually using wood because my population is so large right now at a fair clip as well. So that is... Not not something I want going on at this moment. Let's actually set priority a tiny bit. Um, my storage for products is full. Yes, indeed, because I forgot to get anybody working here. Let's get, like, three traders. And then I can actually have some storage going on. There we go. That's better. That's a beater. That's a wife beater shirt. House is finally being built. 
So at home, I'm at a 65 total population. I'm actually hoping to get to 100 before winter 20, or before spring 20. So what I'm really hoping for is my goal. It will have, it will be the best I have ever done by 20 years, if that does work out. And um, I do have enough supplies to actually build one more, so I will go ahead and do that. As you can see, two people have already moved into here and are probably going to have some rocks and oh did i just get a trader who came and left already fuck how did i not notice you how did i not notice you or were you the trader from before who i bought the wheat seeds from either way doesn't really matter i will get more traders eventually it is not a huge deal this marketplace is rather full i'm the marketplace is efficient because the people from the houses will come to the marketplace to get the food to store in their houses, increasing kind of like time efficiency. I think that's what it's supposed to be anyways. To be honest, I can't really see it. It is early spring. That means all these fields have got to be worked again. And I think... Well, let me go to my job list, which I keep closing even though I shouldn't. Only 18, and I have more than 18 laborers. That is great. That is great and grand and all things good. Now I just need livestock and I will be set. Oh, so I actually did get my 725 live or, um, firewood there, which is why I was so low on wood for the winter. So never mind, I probably will not need a third woodcutter yet. Though I was pretty nervous there for a second. And I don't need the brewery either, so I I'm all good. I'm all good. One of these is a hunter's, right? Gatherer's, herbalist... And hunting cabin. Yes, indeed. Probably sooner than later, I'm going to want a hospital. And I'm not sure where I'm going to build it. Let's go to, like, town services. It only takes one worker to run a hospital. It's kind of a preventative measure, really. So let's see what I've got. I said something. It's what I got. It's in legislation or hospital. Or not legislation. It's in that category. And it can fit right on this road here. It takes an unfortunately large... Well, it takes two builders, but I can just pause it until they're done that house. Oh, they're done that house. Lovely. Lovely. These crops are growing well. I'm actually having to cull some of my trees, which really is never ideal, but it's better than cutting down the entire forest, I guess. Or the entire orchard. Old trees have to be cut down in order so, so that they can keep producing at a good rate, is what I'm trying to get at there. These fields are being worked fairly fast. Tell me, should I or should I not have a fourth person working on this orchard? Like, how much would that speed everything up? Much at all, really? I don't know. All about much ado, I guess. Hey, the Popo, how's it going? Are you in my game or in real life? I heard that if you die, if the Popo shoot you, you die in real life. Um, by the way, when I say the Popo, I, I kind of actually mean it affectionately. I do appreciate the police and think that they are underappreciated by a lot of people specifically really stupid youth um like even even if they're doing if sometimes they do shitty things give them a goddamn break most of them are good people they ended up as police officers i'm gonna stockpile when i when i can't make room for something i always just turn it into more stockpiles because you might as well just have efficient use of space like all this back here, I might as well turn it into extra stockpiles. Because why not? This right here. So see, I actually managed to flatten ground by putting um, stockpiles beside here. Which is interesting because maybe I can actually... No, okay. There's st I still can't put things there. Which is unfortunate. Can I build a road there? They're using it as a path. No, I can't. This one block is just unusable. Motherfucker. And they're already using those stockpiles, so I guess they're glad I made them. Stone is almost done being delivered. I'm going to need more stone sooner than later again. Um, it is early autumn. I'm actually going to like force harvest my crop of pears here. My crap of pears, my crop of pot, my crack a lot. As you can see, I have more children born. Um, but I'm using a lot more firewood as well. After, after this is done, I'm going to build a couple more houses because my population, even though children are being born like mad, has actually dropped more than I would like, and I don't have enough students at the moment. 
I need more students. I need more studious students who study the studies that I'm telling them to... St I don't even know. What are they studying? Like how to build shit and become a laborer every winter so they can go work in my stone quarry and die? Seems like a pretty depressing course of study, all things considered. I'm actually going to increase the total amount of available workers in the stone quarry to 20. And then you'll get to see why the stone quarry is so goddamn dangerous. Well, soon. I can actually have up to six people in each crop field. Um, one is done already. It is autumn, which is kind of making me nervous. I'll get new trees on this pear field eventually. Late autumn, so that means I'm getting some frost. And as you can see, um, the potato field is just dying out here instantly. The corn is a tiny bit more hardy, but still not doing as well as I might like. I'm not sure why um, my workers are going so slow here. Not a fan. I'm not a fan, and I stop giving commands. This song doesn't make any goddamn sense. So, 96, 97. Come on, finish. There we go. Another trader is here. I'm definitely going to go check out what they have. They have beans, wheat, and root. I don't actually need extra stuff from you. Can I make any decent orders? Like, can you give me chickens, not chicken? No, they can just give me food. So, fuck you. Go away, motherfuckers. I don't need your shit. So, as you can see, hide coats sell for 15, so that is like 1,500 worth of um, hide coats that I have delivered there. Great thing to be selling if you can. And I do, of course, have all my hunters hanging out in choke points, so they're actually gathering a lot of leather for me. What I could really use, though, is sheep. So at this point, I should have actually closed down these two fields a little while ago and unassigned all the workers. I guess I could just unassign all the workers and forget closing down the fields, but that makes me feel like I'm cheating. Then I will unpause one of these buildings, have somebody work in the hospital. I, I can't get my health back up to full, no matter what I do. Do I need more variety in crops? I don't know. And then... I could have all my people continue gathering stuff, but to be honest, that'd be kind of boring, so let's go ahead and tell them to stop gathering everything ever. Well, first I have to find the stop gathering tool. Let's cancel removal. I'm going to start canceling up here and then just drag it all the way across the map. There we go. And then we will see how many people I killed by getting them to all work in the quarry over the winter. 17 laborers. I need to keep at least a couple laborers, so I'm going to put this up to 15. The laborers will actually take the supplies that are being quarried and move them back over into a stockpile, which is why I need them. I guess I don't really need the stone at the moment. Um, somebody is cold. Who? No, you're not cold anymore? Okay. I think I'm just going through like an old man phase of my, of my game here. A lot of people are aging and dying as a result. And I, what I really like about these stockpiles is actually that the um, lumberjacks deliver there and then are they're used right away. It makes for very efficient use of time in between these two places. So that's kind of cool. I never even considered that before. You should probably put stockpiles behind every, like, production area. Every production... Well, at least the lumberjacks. At least the lumberjacks at least, because talking is not something I can do well. I don't think I can put, like, one straight and narrow. Yeah, stockpile is too small. You have to actually have it, um, too wide at least. So I didn't do that too well, but it doesn't matter too much. Um, a lot of people are using this as a path. So I think it's likely a good idea to get some roads going on. And some more roads going on. Let's see, what are they doing? They're going, like, over there. So I'll actually hold shift and then kind of path that as well. That house is getting built. They will eventually start on that road. Um, two laborers. It is... What time of the year is it? Is it early spring already? Did I have anyone die in the in the mine? I surprisingly didn't. Just old age. Nice. Got a fair amount of coal over the winter, or um, stone. Well, no, I didn't actually. But I was using stone too, so maybe I got some stone. So you can see, here's the stockpiles they make. Laborers go and take those away. Um... These all need to be worked again. Do not hit the cut button or else you have fucked yourself over. And then I can go ahead and assign 18. 
Too many people died. Hmm. What should I do about that? I probably don't need three vendors at the moment. Um, I do need two builders. You know, so they can build things for me. I can unassign two gatherers and have them work as laborers for now. Unfortunately, my population is at a bit of a standstill right now. A lot of my kids are around the same age. A lot of my students. So they're not actually capable of doing anything. Um, you have maxed out your stock again? Or do you have nothing to work with? Uh, you have nothing to work with. Okay. Now you have stuff to work with. So fuck you. I forgot what the symbols were for a second there. I did remember in the ender though. In the end. I have eight students right now. Um, fair amount of population. Probably a lot of people about to grow up. Because girls just want to grow up. That doesn't even make sense. That's also perfectly alright. Um, is there stone here? Yes, there is actually stone here that I can gather. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Probably like all the way over here. Look at how much stone there is. I should have done this quite a while ago. This is much closer than the stone I was trying to gather. And um, the bridge does allow them to move rather quickly. I don't have many laborers is the main problem here. What I do have is another house to build. The, the more the more houses you build, I know it seems like I'm using a lot of stone in order to build this whole fucking like condensed enclosed neighborhood here. But the more houses you build, the better everything is for everybody. Now, over here I would put another field, but I actually think this would be better as like a service area. Because um, it runs into the mountain, there isn't as much room as it might look like. I do have some graveyards, or some graves actually occurring now, which is more than I had before. Um, yield is going up. I would really like to increase the amount of workers I have on each farm because I'm not actually getting a full harvest every year. I'm getting very early frost and another death. No! Oh, my health is full and my happiness is full. Lovely! That is better than I expected. I am very happy about that. Unfortunately, my leather seem to be getting low, so let's go ahead and open up the job tab again. Do I have all six hunters available right now? Is it, there anywhere else good I could put a hunter? Eventually, I'm going to expand my entire village over here and have, like, another small village. Which will be fucking awesome! But, um, that's going to take me a little while. I could put foresters here instead, but there's better places for foresters. Foresters are better off in the distance, so I can put them, like, down there and, well, down there, really. Up here, there's really nowhere to go. Well, actually, there's plenty of places to go, but it's all too far away. Hmm. Just looking around. Yeah, I can put foresters and other things down there. Um, I could maybe use another hunter's cabin, like, up in this area, in that choke point. That's also pretty far away, and that makes me a bit nervous. Um, it is late summer already. That house that I asked to be built is already built. I'm going to actually just assign another one. Keep on building. I have so much goddamn food every winter that I might as well. I'm not sure how much um, food I can store per person, though. I'm actually going to get you to harvest right away, and you're already harvesting. I'm just getting a bit nervous. Those early frosts are really getting to me. I don't like them. Trader is here. They got us pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are goddamn expensive. But I'd actually rather grow them to potatoes because the potatoes seem to die at like the fucking drop of a hat. So I think 725. I'm not even pausing the game for this, which is probably a bad idea. 725 is 2,900. And then, um, I just add like small bits at a time. I'm overpaying by 120 units. What if I take away this five? Uh, god damn. 15, I'm overpaying by... 15? Yeah, there we go. Trade. Guess I could have just done some simple math there, but I don't like math. Fuck math. It's pretty much my opinion. I'm actually going to need to get somebody to work here now in order to restock these two supplies. No, not extra workers. And, oh, shit, that early frost. See what I mean? It's goddamn brutal. It's brutal. I'm going to need six workers on these fields. This field always gets done in time. Which means five extra workers. But these, I never get the full harvest off. Oh, well. Um, you're actually maxed out right now. 
I should maybe also deliver 50 tools to here. So let's um, actually add iron tools 50 to the inventory. Lovely. Iron tools should probably sell for about as much as um, coats. Or as, yeah, as leather coats. What I really want, though, is sheep so I can make some heavy wool co coats. And I think I'm actually going to finally unassign my workers. They can actually be regular laborers for a little while. And I'm going to unassign every other farmer. But I'm going to increase the total amount of people on these fields to six. And I'm going to get rid of potatoes here and rotate in pumpkins. Lovely. You're maxed out too? Oh yeah, you're the blacksmith. I, I knew you were maxed out. Shouldn't be for long, motherfucker. Um, and I do have somebody working here right now. I might even get a second person working there. 20 people available at the moment for random work. I'm going to keep them gathering the stone because stone is fucking hard to come by. Stone is goddamn hard to come by. And I could actually use a bit more iron and a few more trees as well. A few more chorizos. Let's um, cut down all of these trees here. And these trees belong to no one. Yeah, there we go. Lots of things for my laborers to do over the winter. Gather resources. Um, I'm going to need a lot more firewood since I'm getting these guys to cart tons of things in. Why is no... Shouldn't no one be working this? There we go. Now no one's working it. 23 laborers. I could have them all working in the rock quarry, but I actually have plenty of rock right now. Population of um, six, six, it is almost 75. Now I have a population of 75, so there we go. It is a nice long winter. I have closed the menus that I keep on telling myself not to goddamn close. And late winter. How much can I get before the winter's up? Wake me up when the winter ends. Why is no one delivering the goods to like this stockpile? That seems like the most efficient stockpile to deliver goods to. Really, all things considered, maybe I should actually build this. It takes so much stone, though. So much stone, so much everything. Either way, late winter is almost up, which means that it is time to call it an episode. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you will sign up for the play-along contest. Again, the rules are fairly simple. You just have to tweet me year 1 early spring, year 10 early spring, and year 20 early spring, and I will judge who makes the best town and assign prizes accordingly. If there are enough people, I will actually have a vote on it, and I will give away prizes just for voting as well. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.